When we create a React component, the component goes through several stages in its life cycle. React provides us with built-in methods that we can override at particular stages in the life cycle. So in this video, let's take a look at the lifecycle methods available for a class component. These methods do not exist on a functional component. With the new feature proposal of hooks, there is the use effect hook which partially relates to the lifecycle hooks. But for now, our focus is going to be only on the lifecycle methods in a class component. The lifecycle methods have had their fair share of changes over the years. The methods we will be discussing now are for React version 16.4 and above. We can mainly classify the methods into four phases. Mounting, updating, unmounting, and error handling. The mounting lifecycle methods are called when an instance of a component is being created and inserted into the DOM. The updating lifecycle methods are called when a component is being re-rendered as a result of changes to either its props or state. The unmounting lifecycle method is called when a component is being removed from the DOM. And lastly, the error handling methods are called when there is an error during rendering in a lifecycle method or in the constructor of any child component. Now during the mounting phase, we have four methods. Constructor, a static method get derived state from props, render, and component did mount. During the updating phase, we have five methods. A static method get derived state from props again, should component update, render, get snapshot before update, and component did update. During unmounting, we just have one method, component will unmount. And for error handling, we have two methods, a static method get derived state from error and component did catch. Knowing when to use which lifecycle method is crucial to properly understanding how to work with React. Let's understand that in the next video, starting with the mounting phase.